for me, for all of my personal family photos, for all of my memories, for all of my GoPro and other travel footage, for absolutely everything in my life, I'd prefer to know that I can get access to that if there is an emergency and for some reason I lose access to my account. So Albert asks, uh, what do you think about Google Workspace Individual? Uh, now comes with one terabyte of storage and I think that will be interesting for me for personal use. I agree, I think it is very interesting for personal use. Uh, personally, I've been using a Google Workspace account, a Google Workspace business account for personal use for many, many, many years. And I've created other videos about that on our channel. So if you search our channel for, I think probably G Suite personal use, you'll find a video there on uh, why you should use it and why I recommend it. Now, that option there to use a Workspace account for personal use basically grants you access to Google's business tools for maybe your family domain name or just an individual domain name. And the advantage that I really like about that is it lets me get access to additional features like Google Shared Drives. They're only available on business accounts. They're not available on consumer Gmail accounts. And so using Shared Drives means that if I wanna, let's say, get some GoPro footage from a car cruise or from riding my motorbike with my friends, I can have them submit that footage into a folder for me and I won't actually have any chance of losing that data because I can set the permission where they're a contributor to the shared drive. They can place files in the shared drive, but they can't remove files from the shared drive. So that's a great way of collecting data. I use that in my personal life quite a lot. The second reason is you get backup options and so I can use our business backup tools to automatically back up any of the data that's sitting in my Google Drive and my team manage that for me under our concierge program. If you're a member of concierge, we give you a few free backup licenses to back up your accounts. But thirdly is security and availability of the account. If you lose access to your Gmail account by someone hacking into it or you forget the password or maybe Google shuts it down because they think that you're spamming or you know something goes wrong inside the account or for whatever reason they just switch off the account, it's very, very, very difficult to get back into that account because Google have literally 2 billion Gmail accounts that they are supporting and they don't really provide much end user support for those accounts. But if you have a business account and you have it billed through IT Genius, well, we actually have as a reseller, a backdoor to your account. And so if you forget your admin password or it gets compromised, or even if Google suspends the account, we actually have a backdoor to get back into the account as a administrator, it doesn't cost you anything extra, and you can actually get access to all of your account and maintain that access. Now, for me, for all of my personal family photos, for all of my memories, for all of my GoPro and other travel footage, for absolutely everything in my life, I'd prefer to know that I can get access to that if there is an emergency and for some reason I lose access to my account. That's about where the advantages finish. The disadvantages of using a workspace account for personal use are that you unfortunately have some issues with can't use Nest Home, your home automation. Some of the features of Google Home don't work. So if you've got like Google Wi-Fi points and Google Assistant and those kind of things, they have some limitations. It still works, but there are limitations. And so there's some of the trade-offs that you have. And even silly things like I can't share my movies that I've purchased on Google Play Movies with anybody else in my family, even if they're users inside my Google Workspace account. Basically, Google treats it as a business account and a lot of the consumer Consumer services are just not compatible. Here in Australia, I still can't get Google Assistant to tell me what my calendar events are for the day on a Workspace account. Apparently it was released years ago, but I think there's a bug of some sort in my account and Google don't support any consumer services on your business account. So they're the downsides, they're a trade-offs either way and I made a, uh, a reaction video to that recently, you know, sharing some of the bugs and some of the issues that I've had. So check that out on the channel if you wanna learn a little bit more about that. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our our free community group, all the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.